What's up Series S fam? So you want to stream to Twitch from your Xbox Series S using nothing but the console itself. Well, we've got you covered. So first things first, what you need to do is you need to head on down to the store and head on into the store so you can get yourself the Twitch app. So go over to this menu bar on the left hand side, go down to apps and then you can go down to apps home and you'll be able to find it in here, no problemo. So in the top entertainment apps, it's usually in here. Um, and if you can't see it in here, go down to most popular apps and boom, there it is, Twitch. Click on it and then install the app. And you need to have a Twitch account so you can link to Twitch and then stream to Twitch from your Xbox Series S. So make sure you head on over to Twitch and make an account on your PC or mobile phone if you've not already got one. And just a quick note, if you're worried about space on your Series S, this is quite a small update. It's only 164 megabytes. Once you've downloaded Twitch, you need to head on over to twitch.tv slash activate and then enter the code which pops up on screen to link your account to this app on your Xbox Series S. Once you enter the code from your Xbox on the Activate page, it'll ask you to authorise. So just go ahead and click that so it allows you to stream to your Twitch page from your Series S with no problemo at all. And then once you're logged in on the app on your Series S, you want to head on over up the top here to Broadcast. And once you're on Broadcast, you want to select it, so press A. And here we go. This is where you put in all your settings to make your stream come to life. So it's got information from my previous stream here. So that is the title of the stream here. You can change this using the keyboard on screen. I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now. And then your game will appear here next to language. Once you start playing, it will automatically populate that and set your language to English if that is the correct one for you. Next up for destination here, Obviously, we're going to Twitch. Lightstream, do not worry about that. That is a subscription service which will allow you to add some extra features like overlays and alerts and things like that from your Series S, but that does cost you a monthly fee. So if you want to do this for free, keep it simple. Just to test out streaming, just select Twitch. Then camera position. You can plug in a USB camera if you have one, plug it in. I recommend if you're looking to get one which is good and cheap, which a lot of streamers use, use this Logitech C920, which I'll leave a link down below in the description for you to check out. It's the one I use. And once you have it plugged in, you can select the camera position on screen. If you want me to do a separate video showing you that, using the webcam on the Series S, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll get one out ASAP for you. Next. We've got the broadcast bar position. You basically just select where you want this to be, to be out of your way, and all this shows is information about your stream, how long you've been streaming for, there's a little red dot indicator to let you know you're still live. It will tell you how many people are viewing, and it'll also tell you stuff about your microphone. That is all that is. So I recommend just select bottom right, or the opposite bottom corner from your webcam, just to keep it out of the way. Next up, you've got a microphone. So this is for your microphone. You unfortunately cannot plug in a USB microphone to the Xbox Series S yet and use it for streaming. You can do this on PlayStation 5. I don't know why you can't do it yet on Xbox, but that means you will have to use the microphone on your gaming headset. So try and pick up a decent one of them so you get the best sound quality and then you can play about with the volume slider. You can just press down or up to change it and then you can obviously press mute to mute it. Next is party chat. If you're in a party with people on the game, you can control the volume here up and down. I recommend you just mute this so it does not come across on your stream as it can be confusing when there's a whole bunch of voices talking and they're probably just more interested in hearing what you've got to say as you are the streamer they're tuning in to watch. Next up, we've got game. This is obviously all the game audio. So the sound effects, the shooting, explosions, the music. So just watch with that. I recommend you maybe turn that down a little bit just so it does not clash with your microphone volume so you still come through super clear. Next up, bitrate. This is about the quality of your stream and this is a really useful tool they've introduced here. So you can see um, here we've got the resolution. I recommend if you're starting out, 
go for 720p if you've got good um, broadband or good internet maybe try 1080p but this is the best thing here if you just click automatic it will run a test and tell you what your bit rate should be so let's click on it right now boom broadcast quality test let's check your internet bandwidth so we can get the best experience for you and your viewers so this is good it takes away a lot of the tech know-how for you and will just set the best settings for your internet speed and your series s or series x obviously and you can see here it's came up with a bit rate of 6500 and a stream resolution of 1080p so there we go that is all you need to do so once you're ready to go live head down to the start streaming button just keep pressing down until you get it and then press a to start streaming and wait until the live button appears like that and that means you will be live on Twitch. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, smash that thumbs up button. Leave me any questions you have down below in the comments. And consider subscribing for plenty more awesome gaming content.